today we're going to talk about body language. Um, I would recommend you spend some time fixing your body language and working on your body language skills. Um, body language will be very useful when you go out and open sets because you can pretty much demonstrate uh, or relate to the women who you are through your body language. Women are very good at judging or picking up body language and know exactly who you are, whether you're a confident person or whether you are some insecure guy. So I would really recommend fixing your own body language. At the same time, I would also recommend learning about the body language signals that you can pick up from women. Um, that way you will know where she stands in the interaction with you. You can use that to your advantage. If you see, um, if, if women is you know, telling you through her body language she's attracted to you, you know you can move to the next step. If you see signs like she's brushing you know, some dust off of her and things like that, you know it's a negative sign. So then you can take a step back and do something more to generate attraction. Or if you're into deep rapport and you see some negative signs, then you can address them. So that's another thing how you can use body language to your advantage. You can also use body language as an interesting routine when you go out on dates. Um, this is a very fun thing for both of you to do. It also demonstrates her that you have some good you know, social skills to pick on. Um, you really want to demonstrate to be a confident guy through your body language. That's what's really attractive to women. And the way you do that is by standing straight. A lot of times you will see guys really slouching, like they're really tired, they have no energy. Um, that's not cool, because if you have that loser energy, that tired energy, nobody wants to hang out with you. People go out to have a good time. People want happiness in their life. So if you're a guy who's demonstrating I'm not happy, I'm tired, I'm sad, I'm sick, well, I'm sorry, but nobody wants to spend time with you unless they're already in relation with you. So that's something you always want to relate. And not only in your relationship, but this will help you in your job skills in every other place. So you always want to be a guy who has a smile on their face. Um, I would also give you a very small exercise. Take a look in the mirror or start talking to your friends. Like, a lot of time I see guys, when they approach a woman, they will be like, hey, how are you? Now, look at this expression, and how do you want to respond to me? Versus if I just come to you and say, hey, how are you? Now, if I'm like excited, then you're excited, and it, it automatic, you automatically are forced to give me a response if my energy is high. So this energy comes with your body language. If I'm like this, I cannot go to you with the high energy. But if I'm like feeling good, I'm standing straight, my shoulders pull back, then with the shoulder pull back, I want to show you something. So there are a lot of guys I see, they go out like this, like they're alpha macho. Don't do that. That's too much posturing. You do not want to be overdoing anything. All you want to do is you want to be comfortable. So you want to first pull it really back pull it really forward and then let it go. That's the right balance. So you always want to like play with it and then let it fall naturally. Now you have the right posture. But if you like become the alpha guy and like I'm the macho guy, well no girl wants to talk to you. So always make sure that you have the right body language. Be relaxed. Um, sometimes I know you have to like relax, lean against the wall and things like that. Do it in a style. And don't like put too much effort into it because then women can see through it and other people can see you're trying too hard. So if you're leaning against the wall, you know, just be cool, just be relaxed, but like don't be like, you know, and, and I've seen this guy, you'll, I mean, you'll be surprised when you go to bars, you know, just observe around you, you'll see so many guys displaying such negative body language and then they wonder why people don't talk to them or why things don't move for them. Um, so body language is really strong. Always, always, always have a smile on your face, very important. There are a lot of people out there who tell you you shouldn't have a smile on your face. Um, James Bond never smiles. Well, you know, you're not James Bond. The day you have license to kill people, you're jumping out of planes, shooting people, fine, go ahead and stop smiling. Until then, you make sure you always have a smile. Smile is contagious. There are times when I'm walking on the street and I see a woman smiling back at me and I don't even know why she is smiling at me. And all of a sudden it comes to me, oh, that's because I have a smile on my face. So think about it, if you make an eye contact with a woman, you have a smile on her on your face, she responds to you with a smile. Is it really hard to open her up now? Because think about it, you've already established a friendship zone there, right? You both made an eye contact, you both exchanged smiles, so now it's really easy to go and open her. So eye contact is another thing, very important, smile, very important. Stand straight, make eye contact, smile. Very important, it's gonna help you. Now with the body language also comes it's your energy level. So when you open a woman, or when you open a set, you always have to open with high energy, really high energy. One thing that the high energy is going to help you is when you open somebody with high energy, 
you will automatically come up with material to move your interaction into a good positive direction because you're feeling good they're feeling good everybody wants to jump in everybody wants to talk but if everybody is low it's like mm, yeah okay your name's magic that's cool because then you you don't feel like talking so you want to go with an energy that you feel like talking and then everybody will feel like talking and then the set will automatically go in the right direction. You don't need any routines. You will automatically get routines. So try it out. In fact, you can try this in front of the mirror. I would even you know, encourage you to go and practice this. So go and meet your friend. Talk, start talking to one of your friends, OK? Talk to them in a very low energy and see what the reaction is like. And five minutes after like you've talked to him or her in low energy, all of a sudden change your level of energy and put it high and see what happens, see how the interaction changes. So this way, if you do it like 10, 15, 20 times, you know, consciously knowing that you're changing your energy levels and seeing the feedback from that or the outcome of that energy level, then, then it will become your habit. Then you will actually know how to use your energy level and your body language to control sets. Same thing, if you're leaning too much inside the set and you start to see her leaning, practice these things with your friends. So you know that anytime you lean in, they lean back and see how the conversation goes. If you lean in, he or she also leans in, then you know you both are really in good sync. You know things are going in a very good direction. So start paying attention to people's body languages, their energy tones, their tonality, because these things are really going to help you in the sets. So you always open with high energy, and then you change your energy as you go on. When you go towards um, more comfort, you're going to bring your energy down towards the seduction. You bring your energy really, really low. But you always start with high energy, and then you have spikes of high energy in between that's really needed to continue the set from one, uh, one point to another. What, what, are, what are good body language? I already talked about standing straight, having a smile, making an eye contact. One thing also you always want to do is you always want to face the people. You should never be like standing with your back towards the people. So a lot of times people go to like an open bar or a place where there is really good uh, view that you can look at. It's okay to turn and look at the view for a few seconds, but if you're spending the entire evening looking outside, you're pretty much closing all your opening doors, and that's a very insecure thing. When you sit, it's the same thing. I usually take as much space as I can. That's really good. Like sit, spread your hands, but but be but be thoughtful. Like if you have friends with you, okay, and if there's less space, then let them, you know, then, then give up your space. Let them come in because they are your friends, okay? A lot of times I see people really wrapped up in the game. Like somebody has, because one coach said or one guru said, take as much space as you can, people just stick to it. Like, you know, even if your mom or dad comes, you just don't want to give up your space because you're the man. You know, that's not the man. That's an insecure man who's trying way too hard. So use these common sense and judgments when to use the space, when to not use the space. Be a gentleman. That's very important. 